What's going on guys? So I'm going to be unboxing some cool new rare tortoises that I picked up. But before we do that, we need to set up a proper outdoor enclosure for them. I already kind of have something somewhat set up. We just need to fix it up for them. So here's what I've got going on right now. The red foots that I'm going to be putting into this enclosure like the shades and a lot of trees and foliage. So this mulberry tree is going to be great for them. And as you can see here, these guys, they once the leaves get low enough, they'll start eating them up. So that's what all these marks are. That's from the tortoises eating them. So you can see this one's one that's already gotten a little bit higher, so it got saved. But uh, right here, I have my Herman's tortoises, as you can see right there. They're gonna be getting a, an upgrade. So we're gonna be moving them out of here and putting the new tortoises in here. Here's another one of the Hermans. Uh, but pretty much before we put the new tortoises in here, I have to clean up all these leaves and these rocks. And I'm gonna take these two things out of here and I'm gonna put some fresh mulch and maybe cover up those holes there. Uh, not that the tortoises could get out of it or anything, just so that, you know, there isn't any holes there. Maybe I'll put one of these rocks in there to do that. So the first thing we need to do is get all of these guys out of here. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put this back there. This guy is actually a Greek tortoise, not a Hermans. Most of the tortoises in here are Hermans, but I do have a couple other Testudos in here. And now what I'm gonna do is rake up all of these rocks. The reason why I hadn't ever raked these rocks down before is because this used to be a much bigger enclosure going about 12 feet that way. But recently I downsized it for these coming tortoises. The mulch is gonna be way better. It's gonna make it look a lot cleaner. And I mean, the rocks, I didn't have to take them out. I could have just mulched over it because these guys aren't gonna lay eggs or anything. But I just felt like doing it, so. And there we go that's the enclosure now i put some cypress mulch here back there i left it as dirt uh because the mulch i don't need all over the place i don't mind if these guys get a little bit dirty if you wanted your tortoises to look a little bit cleaner you could just put more mulch that way they don't get covered in dirt and mud uh however the mulch the only reason i wanted mulch was so that when i feed them food the dirt doesn't get stuck all over it and so that they don't drag mud into the water bowl as well so i don't need a whole lot of it i just put it in this part maybe later on i'll get a few extra bags of mulch and put it over there uh but i ran out today so i'm not gonna do that today all right so let's go ahead and start unboxing these guys here they are check these guys out it's not one of the most beautiful tortoises you've ever seen so these guys are red foot tortoises more specifically they're marbled cherry head red foot tortoises um i got a 2.4 which means two males and four females so you can see this is one of the females with a short tail right there they are still young however with red foot tortoises and elongated you can kind of tell when they're a smaller size like these guys they're not laying eggs yet they're still too small but this one's one of the males you can tell by the long shell or the long tail right there um so yeah this this enclosure is for them i have six red foots in here as well as my elongated tortoise i don't think i've ever shown my elongated tortoise to you guys but here she is uh this one i was told was a female although i'm not really sure i don't have any other elongated tortoises to compare it to this is my only one i do notice the tail is a little bit long so i think it might actually be a male but since i was told by the person that sold it to me female um i'm not 100 percent sure let's go ahead and put this girl in here first and um i should mention that these guys have already been quarantined i've actually had these guys for a while now uh this is just the first time that i show them but they've already been quarantined so they're ready to go in with 
my elongated tortoise and other than that there's no other tortoises nearby um but yeah they're all quarantined and they're all healthy now here's another one of the smaller females beautiful little tortoise right there uh, another female i don't think i put the male in actually i think that the male are the two bigger ones and there's gracie my pug i don't know if you guys saw her but she's passed by um this one actually has a small tail this one's a female so i guess the two bigger ones are the male This one has a, a somewhat long tail, but not all the way. Uh, like I mentioned, they are still young, so it is harder to tell whether it's male or female, but with redfoot tortoises and elongated tortoises, you could tell a lot earlier than you would with other species of tortoises. For example, sulcata tortoises at this size, you would not be able to tell if it's a male or a female. And here's the princess of shadows reptiles, Gracie. Hey, what happened? Your camera shy? She came over here to interrupt the video, but I guess she didn't want to be recorded. So I threw a few leaves in there so you see if these guys would eat. Uh, sometimes tortoises, when you change them over to a new enclosure, they don't eat right away. And like I mentioned earlier, they did eat already today. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll take a few bites at least so that I can get a little bit of... Um, so that I could get a little bit of footage for you guys. Oh, there you go. That's the male. The males have a little bit less marbling. Not necessarily because they're males or anything. It just happens to be that way. And they're already a little bit dried out. So it kind of shows less. You see that one right there? I wet her so that it could I could see her show a little bit better for the thumbnail. But usually when they're dry, their pattern looks more like that. So it's still very nice but it's not as nice as when you soak it like that look how pretty that looks um and yeah the males are definitely the the most dull out of all of them but it's okay because the ones i was most interested in were the females because i've been looking for cherry head females for forever and i've never been able to find them um adults i've only seen a couple of them and they've always been like over twelve hundred dollars which i did not want to spend but um i ended up getting this whole group for a, a decent price you know not a great price but a decent price so i'm pretty happy with them and hopefully we'll be able to get some babies in the next few years because they still are babies themselves and look at that one taking a poop right there what up girl this is my favorite animal out of all the animals that shadows reptiles oh yeah this guy's munching and he's actually one of the shyest ones at least when he came in he was one of the more shyer ones so i'm surprised he's the first to eat uh all the females are the most active and uh friendlier ones that little one i believe it's that one yeah that little one's a little bit shy as well but other than that they're all getting more and more used to me now and as you can see tortoises really are amazing creatures she literally just turned around and just started munching just recycling all the way and it's not like I have fresh food for him right, right in front of her. She's just rather munch on that, I guess. Here you go. Eat this. That's actual food. Oh, no. No, that's she doesn't want that. But, yeah, that's definitely one of the biggest problems with tortoises. They just like to put absolutely everything into their mouth. So you have to be very careful whenever you're working in their enclosure. Especially with babies, it's a little bit easier to control what's in and out of there. But with these adults, um, as you can see, there's a shed right there. That's where my father keeps all of his tools and all his like work stuff. So he's constantly moving things in and out. My brother has his bird, so he's moving things in and out. I have all the other animals around as well. So I'm moving things around. So sometimes uh, we have like little pieces of trash fall and these guys are quick to get to it. So I always am on high alert, picking up everything after everybody. Uh, usually it's not a big deal uh, with the aldabras at least for example you see this little piece of tube from my brother's contraption here that he's building he's building some changes with automatic water he one of the little cutoffs of the tubes he forgot to pick up so that's something that i have to look out for things like that um, but most importantly i like to look out for like metal pieces so i have a big magnet that i pass around the yard uh, because I like to pick up all the, like, the screws and like the little staples, anything like that, because that could obviously puncture their stomach. 
and we wouldn't want one of these beautiful little guys to have any problems at all so we gotta clean up after ourselves and i've never had them have any problems like eating something and then getting impacted or anything like that i did once have my sulcatas when i was building the enclosure that used to be here i don't want to show off what's here yet because that's going to be for the next video so you guys make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications because i have a really cool video that i need to show you guys uh probably next week but and, and i'm walking around because i have this guy walking around my feet but uh as i was saying the enclosure that i built here it was a wooden one and i had a home depot bag with all like the screws and stuff in there and while i was building the one of my sulcata sneaks up on behind me and eats half of the bag with me standing right there before i even get to notice it literally took her like two seconds and she munched half of the bag luckily she just pooped it out and everything was good but definitely something scary that you wouldn't want happening to your animals so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i ended up throwing a little palm frond that was dried out there because the tortoises always like to enjoy those they hide inside of it um not only in the like the leaves but in the that part as well I, i'm i don't really know the anatomy of plants i don't know what that part's called but they like that um so i put it in there although it doesn't look the prettiest i'm probably gonna find a few more hides for them just because i kind of want to i mean they have that hide there they also go under the the ac there's a little cave in that corner so they have two hides right now but i'll probably put another one uh around the back there i mean they have a, an extra hide thanks to this palm from now they'll hide in there and under the leaves it adds a lot more so i probably will add a few more things but that's pretty much their their setup from now on if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like if didn't feel free to leave a dislike make sure you leave a comment with some future suggestions and make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day